Today's video is sponsored by Luster. Man, at this point, I don't know how many times I've said that Ducky needs to implement Hot Swap in order to be competitive. The one too many came out really strong, but it was quickly pressured by competitors in that small form factor space. So they finally listened. We got Hot Swap. It's just not at all in the board that we were expecting. This is the limited edition year of the rap board. It's done in collaboration with a graffiti artist bounce from Taiwan and aesthetically, it's totally off the charts. It's not gonna be for everybody, but we're gonna take a look at it and see if it's for you. You ready? Let's go. Yo, I'm Brian P, you're watching Bad Seed Tech, and today we're looking at the Year of the Rat limited edition 60% hot swap keyboard from Ducky. Full transparency, they did send this out for review, but as you should know by now, doesn't affect my review in any way. So we're gonna start things off a little different today with the unboxing experience. I never do this, but at a price point of 199 US, Ducky has definitely provided us with an experience here. This is collector stuff here. The box has artwork from Bounce all over it. Inside, we get a message about the project. It's actually signed by Bounce himself, and we have a phone line tray that contains a keychain with a full MX blue switch and a keycap, three additional shine through Bounce mouse keycaps. These are thin painted ABS. You also have a double ended plastic keycap and switch puller and a traditional ducky wire puller in the new gray and green colorway as well. The cable's not branded in any way. It's just a standard ducky USB-C. Now you also get a full size desk mat featuring the year of the rat artwork. The printing looks great, rolls out nice, quality feels solid. This is not just a cheap add on. This is a decent desk mat. And of course we've got the board itself in there with the dust cover. Not going to lie. This is one of the best unboxing experiences I've had in in all the time I've been reviewing, I got like a little kid sense of awe at this experience. It was awesome. I don't even know where to begin with this thing. I mean, it's hot swap, obviously. That's the real headline here. But every angle and surface of this thing is covered in graphics. This is the exact moment where the love it or hate it thing kicks in. At least you know immediately if this is for you or not. The case is plastic, which is unfortunate at this price point. A different type, too, than the standard one too many case. This is all matte. And it's got a pretty rigid feel to it. I imagine they had to go this way to support the graphic application. It's got different lines than we've seen as well. More aggressive. I do like that. Flip down feed in two levels, dip switches where we normally find them, USB-C connector on the left side. These are numbered as only 2020 of these will be produced. This is both on the case front itself and the serial plaque on the back, which is in gold here versus the usual silver color. Keycaps here are thick PBT and they're die sub, so they're not shine through nor are they double shot. This is mainly because there isn't a single cap on here that you've ever seen Ducky use before. The cost to produce double shot molds to support this entire set would be insanely expensive and would drive the cost of this board up even more. Unlike most of Ducky's boards, you only get one space bar option here and it's a full bounce mouse graphic. Very fitting with the theme of the board. I'm not gonna hurt any feelings today. You either like it or you don't. This appears to be PBT as well and there's no warping issue or anything here. Despite the caps not being shined through, you do still of course get RGB lighting here that is handled on the board as there's still no software as well as all the most up-to-date stuff on the PCB. I gotta take a quick second to pay some bills and then we'll be right back to talk about hot swap. Big thanks to our sponsor Luster for continuing to support the channel. Sometimes you just have no idea where to begin when you're shopping for a new product, especially if it's a gift, like you're shopping for somebody else and maybe you don't share their same interests. And we have a ton of places now that you can go to read and watch product reviews and that can be really helpful, but it can also be pretty overwhelming. And that's where Luster comes in. It's a free shopping tool and extension for Chrome or Firefox that consolidates all that info for you. It gathers it from a number of trusted places and reviewers from around the internet, wire cutter, Reddit discussions, even other YouTubers. You can search by your specific product need, anything from a gaming chair to a coffee maker. You pick your budget and you can see how well a product stacks up from a lot of different perspectives and credible review sources from around the internet. It can also alert you to sale pricing or personalized product recommendations right on Google or Amazon. It makes it easy to score the right product product and keep an eye out for those holiday sales since this year, most of our shopping will be done online. Luster is free, it's easy to use, and it can help save you a ton of time and money when you're searching for your perfect product. Check them out now at join.luster.ai. Thanks again to Luster for sponsoring today and thank you for your time. 
I appreciate it. The sport ships with Cherry MX Browns, but obviously it's hot swap, so you can do whatever you want with these. Oddly, I guess Cherry has recently retooled their MX line to be smoother and have tighter tolerances in response to some of the criticism that they've received as of late. They call them Hyperglide, and they've basically said nothing about this anywhere. There's not even a way to visually tell whether you have the retooled versions or not. It's really strange to me that for a company that's fallen out of favor so hard with the custom keyboard market over the past year that they've made zero effort to market this at all. The stabilizers here are standard ducky stabs, which due to the hot swap, we can now access easily for the first time without completely disassembling the board. They have flat bottoms already, so there's no need to clip anything, and it's apparent they are lubed from the factory, but it's really inconsistent. I would definitely re-lube these if I were gonna put this board in full rotation. You can, of course, completely replace these if you like, but you will be limited to plate mount stabs only. Now, where we usually find a painted white steel plate, we have a bare stainless steel plate here. It gives the board like this cool industrial look for this specific vision of the year of the rat, but I'd still prefer a white plate for general use. The RGB still looks good in low light, but it would pop more with their standard white plate. The dual layer PCB inside is purple, the hot swap sockets are kale, and they support five pin switches, so no clipping of stems. This should be standard on every hot swap board everywhere. These are north facing, so if that bothers you, do be aware of that. So overall, it sounds okay. It's not the best sounding Ducky one too many we've ever heard. I feel like a lot of that comes from the space bar stabs as well as some resonance here produced by this plastic case. Inside the board, we can see that there's no sound dampening material at all, something that would really go a long way in helping the overall sound of this board. Once disassembled, it really hits home just how inexpensive this plastic chassis really is. So value, 199. That's an awful lot to spend on what essentially is a special edition hot swap one too many. I look at it like this. It's a collector's item. I'm not gonna put it in rotation. I won't use it. I'm not gonna lube the stabs. I'm not gonna add any sound dampening. I'm gonna keep it stock. It will probably be displayed and live on a shelf. If that's how you look at it as well, it is what it is. But as an everyday board, you'd have to really like the aesthetic here. I don't see the point in buying it and swapping keycaps. That's part of the overall price tag. Case swapping it, same thing. It ties into the overall aesthetic. And buying it simply to gut it for the hot swap PCB doesn't make a lot of sense to me either. And it also feels downright disrespectful. There's objectively more cost-effective ways to spend $200 on a hot swap 60% board. For the record, it is completely possible to swap the plate and the case for any other one too many that's out there on the market. I tried it, it works. So if you just have money to burn and what you really want is like a mecha mini with hot swap, you can do that. But as a daily driver board, nah. For me, this board is two things. Number one, it's a collector's edition. Aesthetically, a stunning execution of the collaboration with Bounce, complete with insane packaging and themed accessories. But two, and more importantly, it's a green light that Ducky can and did manufacture a hot swap PCB, and hopefully a sign we'll see this PCB find its way into Ducky's other offerings, because the market moved crazy fast over the past year, and Ducky needs this to stay competitive. I do want to extend a sincere thank you to the team at Ducky for sending this over. As a collector's piece, it's exceptional and I will treasure it always. As of now, the pre-sales on this are unavailable, but word is that mechanicalkeyboards.com will be opening these up again mid-December, so follow me on Twitter and Instagram for updates on that. And that's it for this time. I'm Brian P. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that sub button, and until next time, stay up.